hello everyone welcome you to my channel in today's video i'm going to be using coloring clay okay this is it right here coloring is an exfoliant and also an absorbent mask powder okay it can be used to soak up unnecessary excess oil from your skin it helps balance oil production but you must use it a few times in order for you to be able to see some results it can help manage body odor it is gentle on skin and can be used by anyone whether you have a sensitive skin or not it's okay you can use it it can be um it's it's very gentle to us to anyone's skin it suits it can rejuvenate and stimulate skin production you know natural oil production okay so it's very sensitive okay so i'm going to be breaking down this and i'm going to be mixing it with a few other things since it's a clay we need to process process it with some liquid also and you know as i go i'll be introducing other things i'm going to be using to you guys okay so i'm going to be needing one teaspoon of honey that will go with my cow mixture so i'm going to be using one teaspoon of honey okay we know that okay i've already uh break down some of my cowling clay and this potter so i have some that i've already broken down here so i'm going to take away the shock one so i just need to break it down a little bit more right here because i want it to be like shock so that will not be difficult i really don't want to be banging on my granite like that because i don't want to break it i don't know if it's going to break or not but that's why i'm holding it so that it doesn't have much effect on my granite okay okay so i have it broken down already now into powder form okay so i'm going to use my dry spoon to measure it so i need a measuring spoon i'm going to use a whole tablespoon i'm only going to make sure that i use enough that i'm going to be able to use for once so i don't need it for Actually, let me just use it a teaspoon instead of a uh, tablespoon size. Okay, this is a teaspoon. I'm just going to use, go ahead and, okay, I'll take two of these. This is half a teaspoon, so I'll do two of this size right here. This is one of my cowling powder. And then the second one I'll do another four so now i have one teaspoon of my cowling powder measured into that uh, place i mean bowl. okay so what i need next is my honey and and actually what i need next is my rose water so i'm going to need half a teaspoon of rose water as well okay so but i'm going to mix my tea, my rose water with actual water so i'm going to do half half so this is my i'm going to do one half water right here i mean one quarter of a tablespoon water and then i'll do the rose water also let me fill up my rose water so i'm going to do both because i need enough liquid to mix my cowling clay because it's a clay it's going to be it's not going to be easy to dissolve so i definitely need that okay so let me tell you a little bit about rose water rose water can be used for healing scars bones and cuts it has an anti-aging effect it can improve complexion reduce redness it's an it has an antioxidant and antibacterial properties in it that may help reduce the um 
you know the the um, acne that you may have on your face it also has an anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties that can help reduce puffiness on the eye bags and readiness of skin so and uh, it also has antioxidants uh, uh, and that has potential lipid in it so i'm going to and that's what i've already mixed here that's i'm talking about the effect of rose water so the rose water is right here i'm going to mix the rose water actually with my honey okay so because if we put the honey directly into it i have i have honey right here okay and we all know that honey can help lighten your skin it can also help combat and kill bacteria. okay so i'm going to use one teaspoon of honey but my honey will be mixed with with the um with the rose water and water so that it can be totally liquid by the time i mix it with um so i'm actually using organic honey white honey organic honey so i'm going to mix my honey into the rose water and the water combination okay so i'm mixing them both right now so i'm just making enough for me to use this morning before i take a bath okay so now i have mixed my honey into the uh, rose water okay so now i can mix everything together into my kaolin clay now i have the kaolin clay mixture it's the mixture turns into like a light very very light uh pinkish and brownish kind of uh clay uh, this is a very very powerful thing to use but you can use it while you are taking while you are in the shower so it's better for you to put it on before you take a shower right before you take a shower and you can keep it on for like 20 minutes or more okay so i have my kaolin clay here and i'm going to use my tea tree drop of my tea tree tea tree helps cleanse and renew and also purify skin so i'm going to just do a two drops of my tea tree one two okay <laughs> that's even three okay that's enough okay so i have the tea tree i have my water and honey everything all mixed into the cowling clay so the honey everything is mixed into it and this is how much i need i don't need that much actually and in the end after i finish taking the shower i'm going to use my um what do you call it i hyaluronic hyaluronic uh oil which is this one right here that's what i'm going to use that it's an oil that will actually after i finish taking a shower and i've already uh put this on my face and everything and then keep it off for, on my face for like 20 minutes then wash it off immediately after i finish washing off everything from my face i will uh, actually use my toner immediately after my toner that's when i will use my hyaluronic oil to replenish the moisture and lock the moisture back into my skin it will smooth and soften and brighten my skin completely so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel it's very very important that you subscribe to this channel i'm bringing you great videos and i'm going to continue to bring many many ones uh, in the nearest future so when you subscribe to my channel also please make sure that you um click on the um notification bell so that when i bring in when i'm ready to upload another video you'll be among the first people to receive the video okay so i choose to put a little bit more of my rose water into my mixture because it's a clay it's supposed to be like this but i want it to be a little bit watery so i'm going to put a little bit more rose water 
I love rose water. I use this almost every day under my eye. So that's why I don't have any puffiness. I don't have any darkness under my eyes. So here we go. And you know, if you, if it's too hard, you can always put a little bit of water. It's highly recommended that you actually mix it with water and honey. And you know, this is all perfect. This is all great. And this is what my body and my skin will enjoy today. I'm going to now, um, I'm going to use my finger as usual. If you don't want to use your finger, you can actually use a brush also. But in today's situation, I'm using my finger. Okay. See? This is what it's going to look like on your face. It's looking great already. 